Part 4 Review Moderate sedation is a drug-induced depression of consciousness during which the patient responds purposefully to verbal commands, either alone or accompanied by light tactile stimulation. Moderate sedation does not include minimal sedation, deep sedation, or monitored anesthesia care. Moderate sedation providers must assess for the difficult airway prior to using medications to facilitate non-anesthesia sedation. You do not want to go from can ventilate to can't ventilate. The gold standard for predicting a difficult airway is to use the mnemonic lemon. L. Look externally. E. Evaluate the 3, 3, 2, rule. M. Malampati scale. O. Obstruction. N. Neck mobility. Let's take a look at each individually. Look externally. Notice the following features that can make an airway difficult. Atypical facial features or shape. Morbid obesity. Facial hair. Protruding or buck teeth. Protruding tongue. Or facial and neck trauma. Evaluate the 3-3-2 rule. Ideally the patient will have a three-finger mouth opening, three fingers from the tip of chin to the hyoid bone, and two fingers from hyoid bone to thyroid cartilage. Malampati scale. Recognize that if you can see the full view of the uvula and tonsils, it is a good indication that maintaining an airway may not be difficult no opening to the rear of the throat, where only the hard palate is visible, is a sign that maintaining an airway may be difficult. Let's take a moment to review how to determine the Malampati score classification. When assessing a Malampati classification score have your patient sit upright with their head in a neutral position. Ask them to open their mouth as wide as possible, and to protrude their tongue as far as possible. Classification is made per visualization of structures in the oral cavity. Class 1. The soft palate, uvula, anterior and posterior tonsillar pillars are visible. Class 2. The soft palate, fossus, and uvula are visible. Class 3. Only the soft palate and base of uvula are visible. Class 4. The soft palate is not visible at all. Class 3 and Class 4 will need anesthesia consultation. The higher the assigned Malampati classification, the higher incidence of difficult intubation. Let's return to the lemon. Obstruction. History of neck or face trauma. Arthritis. Body habitus snoring or sleep apnea may compromise the patient's airway. Neck mobility. The ability to flex, extend, or otherwise manipulate the head and neck of the non-trauma patient may greatly increase the likelihood of visualizing the vocal cords, under no circumstances should the head or neck of the post-trauma patient be manipulated. These checks are a tool to recognize that a patient may have a difficult airway. This assessment will help you decide what action will be in the best interest of your patient, and for you to give safe and effective sedation.